Whenever the mention of Masjid al-Aqsa comes along, a lot of people picturize Masjid al-Aqsa to be this masjid behind us. But in fact, this masjid is the Dome of the Rock or Qumbat al-Sakhra. Masjid al-Aqsa is in fact on my right hand side. It's the masjid behind with the kind of grayish color dome. But subhanAllah, all of this area, all of this compound is part of the blessed land. This is where we will all be here on the Day of Judgment. And this is where the division between right and wrong will take place. Alhamdulillah, where I'm standing right now, this is the Qibli Mosque of Masjid Al-Aqsa. It is in this very place that our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam led all the Prophets in prayer as Imam Al-Anbiya. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised people go and visit Masjid Al-Aqsa. And it was one of the uh, pieces of advice that he gave to all the companions at that time. Where I'm standing, SubhanAllah, all the Prophets that Allah Azawajal sent prayed here with our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as their Imam. In that beautiful hadith that we mentioned a few times, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged everyone to go and visit Masjid Al-Aqsa, to go and pray in Masjid Al-Aqsa. And if it was not possible to go and pray in Masjid Al-Aqsa, then to send some oil to light the lamps of Masjid Al-Aqsa. Now, this well that I'm sitting beside now wasn't a water well. This was where people would actually send the oil to Masjid Al-Aqsa to light the lamps. And it goes very deep down there, at least a good 20, 25 feet down. And people from all over the area and those who could afford to would send oil to light the uh, lamps of Masjid Al-Aqsa. Of course, nowadays Masjid Al-Aqsa isn't lit by oil lamps anymore. It's electrical lighting. And, just, and in this room again, here in the basement, uh, and the lighting you see down below in this well, is also been possible because you donated uh, to Muslim Hands to make this possible. So in modern times, you're not sending oil to light the lamps of Masjid al-Aqsa, you're actually providing the lighting for the entirety of Masjid al-Aqsa, which will continue to be your Sadaqatul Jariya. Alhamdulillah, the place that I'm standing now is where the Imam would stand in leading the prayers here in Masjid al-Aqsa. Subhanallah, standing here you get a, feel, a really overwhelming feeling that when the Prophet ﷺ led all the Prophets in prayer, he would have stood at the front like this, Allahu Akbar. Now can you imagine right, lighting up these front rows of the Masjid uh, where the Imam stands and just for a donation of 500 pounds. And I want you to imagine doing that for your parents, doing that for yourself, doing that as a legacy for your children, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, I can't express what the feeling is standing here, subhanAllah, where all the Prophets would have prayed behind our Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allahu Akbar. The very reason why I'm here today is to look at how many of you have sent oils to light the lamp of Masjid al-Aqsa. Many of you have contributed over the last a uh, decade or so that Muslim hands have been working here towards the lighting project that's been taking place here, subhanAllah. And uh, the beauty of that hadith is that if you send oil to light the lamps of Masjid al-Aqsa, it is as if you have prayed in Masjid al-Aqsa. And in various narrations of hadith, each prayer is worth either 250 prayers, 500 or even a thousand. There are three different uh, narrations in this regard. So many of you have contributed towards the lighting works here have lit up Masjid Al-Aqsa. And for every time that somebody will be standing here making sujood, making dua, reciting the Quran, it is your Sadaqatul Jariya.